Hi Aquarius, welcome to your August reading. You have been on my mind Aquarius and I'm very sure it has to do with the full moon in your sign coming up August 19th. So yeah, my puppy and I are here to deliver your messages. This is like the fourth time I try to film this for you because the energy is just all over and I just can't get it right. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I do want to also say I do think I'm going to go live on YouTube very soon, likely tomorrow, which is Saturday, to do 12 signs, all the 12 signs um what's coming up for you this uh full moon in aquarius so make sure to turn on your bell post notifications you don't want to miss when i come live and yeah come and say hi if you catch me on the live but yeah aquarius um i filmed recently your um timeless love reading on how your person feels about you if you haven't checked that out go ahead um before you watch this um but yeah i was like i cannot like not do the August reading for Aquarius. I can't delay this even more. So we are here today. I got my Moonology deck. I'm going to start off with that just to see overall energy surrounding you because like I said, you do have a full moon in your sign coming up in just a couple of days. So I hope that you are resting. I hope you're taking care of yourself. It's not easy with all the energy in the air right now. Astrologically speaking, Mercury retrograde, Venus and Virgo, we're picking fights, okay? Mars and Gemini, we're picking fights over what we know, what we think we know people's intelligence are coming out <laughs> lack of information more information anyways the energy is just kind of hectic and chaotic I don't need to be telling you this but yeah those of you who have Virgo placements like me you guys know like you guys know you guys understand um but yeah you guys let's get into it um I also want to say a big shout out to my Patreon family you guys have been so supportive over on Patreon like I'm getting new members okay period and I also am noticing that I'm getting new subscribers so thank you so much and shout out to those of you who just newly subscribed and if you haven't yet ask yourself are we friends Aquarius why can't we be friends please like this reading also if you enjoy more it helps my algorithm it lets me know that you and I have a vibe going on okay let's get into it Aquarius what is the overall energy surrounding Aquarius this full moon and August okay we have a new romantic cycle begins this is the new moon in Libra card very exciting okay Aquarius whether you are in a relationship you are in a situation ship you are completely single as a Pringle you are married whatever is going on in your love life you are turning a new page there's a new chapter a new cycle showing up okay some of you may have libra placements or you're dealing with the libra you have the good you are good enough card in the reversal this is a full moon in virgo okay aquarius so i feel like some of you have dealt with in the past okay let me know if i'm wrong but some of you may have dealt in the past with people that were just not appreciative of the things that you were doing for them the time and energy that you would put into the friendships the relationships even like the work environments work situations i feel so there's been some energy here of unrequited love that you are healing from you are overcoming okay please don't let this affect the way you view yourself and the way that you continue to love express love experience love etc you are good enough so there may have been situations or circumstances that had you questioning your worth aquarius i was not expecting this in your reading but aquarius do be you know because people people say that you are nonchalant you're detached blah 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 and sure, you can come off a little robotic at times, but Aquarius, I know you have feelings. I know you're still a human deep down, okay? So you are good enough. Bottom of deck, confidence is your key to success. This is your sister sign, Leo, coming through the new moon in Leo card, saying that, again, confidence is your key to success. So what makes you you is very valuable. Um, honor that. Like, walk with faith. Walk with your head up high. You are um, a lion, <laughs> okay let me pull another card we have meditate and contemplate this is a new moon and pisces a lot of grounding energy needs to take place aquarius uh i i would blame the uh full moon but a lot of you have been needing a second to meditate and contemplate to ask yourself okay certain questions ponder on certain realizations that may have come to mind recently your intuition is at an all-time high aquarius we cannot be igno ignoring that we cannot afford to ignore that okay let's look into your um general life stuff so career finance living situation trips friends family all that stuff and then we will look into love let's get the overall um what's the general life stuff for aquarius this month of august please spirit what is the overall general life stuff for Aquarius, we got the King of Pentacles. It's giving money moves. It's giving stability. It's giving finance, financing. 
Okay, let's pull more. Um, what is the overall energy for um, Aquarius? General life force in for Aquarius, please, this month of August. General, oh my God. Oh, okay. We got the lover's card in the reversal. I'm not too sure. Okay, so we're not looking at the love portion just yet, Aquarius, but love is showing up. I am interpreting this as connections. It could be friendships. It could be people that you work alongside, okay? Some of you are gonna be getting a great reference from a higher up, a superior, a manager, a landlord, okay? So it's about who you know. This reminds me of the Leo reading. So if you have Leo placements, uh, if you have you know, more than two planets in Aquarius, I would suggest watching that Leo reading because the message was, you know, for Leos, it was about the people you know this August. So there's something here about a connection and alignment. Some of you, it's a business deal, a business relationship, a business partnership. I also feel as though, um, you know, when it comes to romantic love, some of you might be thinking about working with a romantic partner or you're falling for someone at your workplace. I would tread lightly. The lover's card was in the reversal of Aquarius I'm not sure if it was meant to come out like that or not we will look into your love portion soon um but yeah I'm getting here about something here about connections I'm also getting something about like new job newly getting hired let me see more okay we have these six of wands perfect the success and victory card this is you Aquarius this is also the Leo um card energy here speaking about what it is that makes you you what it is that makes you unique so I would say there is a promotion in line for you Aquarius in love you just getting more uh, a bigger platform okay so maybe you're going viral on social media if you work for yourself your clientele it's about the people that you are attracting and connecting with so you could be experiencing you know more money coming in there could be a specific client okay a specific um, field that you're tapping into that is going to be very beneficial to you I'm getting emphasis here on a wealthy masculine okay this could be like I said a higher up it could be a father figure for some you are you know dealing with this person in a romantic sense okay but someone here is coming through and they are stable they're secure they are pulling some strings for you most likely in terms of connections okay um they could be also investing in you okay but a lot of you Aquarius you're getting like more serious more intentional and more consistent when it comes to your financial situation career situation all of that and all of this is going to bring you long-term success you could be going viral okay you are gaining a larger platform is what i'm seeing and then we have the six of pentacles this is my interview card my meetings card this is my card for when people are pulling strings for you doing favors for you so again um, this is a great month for networking and thinking about the people that you know, even the acquaintances, okay? Make the most out of your acquaintances and your social circles. But some of you could be um, training, training other people. I see you being very busy when it comes to work, okay? So if you're looking for work right now, I think this is a great sign for you if you're currently unemployed but there's a lot of energy coming its way to you Aquarius and I feel so you're going to be very busy for the rest of August now we do have the tower card and I want to look into that we do have the um, eight of pentacles and then we have the magician card so I would say Aquarius that of course with the full moon in Aquarius there could be some kind of shocking revelation there could be something you know as you know, as an Aquarius placement, um, you are ruled by Uranus, which is the sign that rules electricities, um, you know, just moments of, 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 you know, kind of like lightning. We think about electricity, just like moments of like an instant, you know, an instant connection, <laughs> like an instant, um, I'm forgetting the word right now, but like an instant epiphany. Okay. So I feel as though some of you, you might be faced with something, um, that feels a little like this, something that feels a little chaotic, a little daunting, a little intimidating, possibly. This is likely something that you were not anticipating. This is not to scare you by the way, because I'm also seeing that things are going to unfold beautifully on the other end okay so Aquarius I do want to say there could be a uh, purchase that you have to make that you weren't anticipating so I would set money aside if possible for a rainy day if you're able to okay I don't feel so this is a nice a good time to be splurging but I definitely do think that it's a great time for you to be building your empire and that means investing in yourself so making conscious purchases and conscious decisions with who you surround yourself with that will help elevate you okay and know that you are good enough know that you are deserving some of you are going to be 
releasing trauma when it comes to a job situation when it comes to a financial situation when it comes to a lifestyle i see a lot of you breaking free from something that was no longer serving you and unfortunately for some it may it may require a shocking turn of events to take place in order for you to realize that you want to manifest better for yourself. You want to reinvest your time and energy into something more fruitful for you, something that makes more sense. So know that the answers you are looking for are already within you. That's the whole meditate and contemplate card. Um, but yeah, Aquarius, that's what I got for you in career finance and all that stuff. I do want to look more into this lover's card. So we're going to look into the uh love portion of your reading and i want to ask aquarius have you given this reading a thumbs up do you like me do we like each other are we friends are we acquaintances okay think about it you know the more thumbs up i get on my readings the more i know i can clock which signs actually are my people okay so far aries have always shown love on this channel virgo capricorn always shown love but i'm trying to also break into that aquarius space okay i have aquarius spaces myself and they are activated this full moon so you let me know if there's reciprocation here okay um but yeah you guys turn on your bell post notifications subscribe for more okay that's also a way to keep my algorithm going and um for me to know that you like me back okay by the way aquarius i just you guys are one of my favorite zodiac signs so that's why i'm going so hard for this right now okay <laughs> but let's um let's look into your love life those of you on patreon big shout out to my patreon family okay um if you'd like early ad free access on all my youtube content patreon is the place to be so i'm gonna link it down below but huge shout out to the patreon family um those of you in my lovers here on patreon i'm gonna be filming an exclusive august love reading for all the air signs we're gonna look into predictions in all things love so if you are interested that is an exclusive for the lovers tier on patreon that will be linked um below but yeah i'm gonna film it today and i'm so excited because it's Venus Day. It's Friday. Like, we're thinking about all things love. We're thinking about partnerships. We're thinking about harmony and balance and beauty. So, of course, I'm going to be pulling through. Okay, let's look at Aquarius's uh, love life this August. Whether you are single, in a relationship, cross-watchers watching, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, this could also be helpful. Okay, so let's see. Aquarius in love this August, please, spirit. Ace of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Vulnerability. Are you tapping into your emotions, Aquarius? Okay, I like that for you. I think the, the full moon in Aquarius is going to bring forth certain emotions that maybe you didn't realize you had. A, a lot of you are just feeling more vulnerable and tapping into your inner feminine, okay? Um, wanting to, you know, nurture yourself, thinking about new ways to pour into your emotional well-being, your mental health, okay? Some of you are journaling, you're spending time alone, just reflecting on things. Some of you are going on walks, Okay, I just came from one. That's why my puppy is chilling. Okay, but I love this for you. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you have water sign placements. But let's look more into love for Aquarius for the month of August. What else can you tell me, please, Spirit, for the Aquarius watching at home? Okay, so Ace of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful, Aquarius. This card has the perfect correlation to the whole you are good enough card. Okay, Aquarius, I know that Aquarius is, you know, growing up, you never really fit in. You always felt like the black sheep. Like, I totally know this and I appreciate it because it just helps you really tap into who you truly are and cultivate an actual personality. You are brilliant. You are always ahead of the curve. People want to, um, you know, they want to copy you, you know, because what you have is that unique, it's that authentic. So there's something here about just continuing to be your true self, Aquarius, okay? There's something here about you don't even have to try because the people that are meant to find you are going to love you for you. So you don't have to change anything about yourself. Um, I'm also getting some of you are going to be experiencing someone this month that will want to shower you with love. They they find you valuable to have around. This person wants to keep you around, okay? So this person is going to be showering you with gifts, love, affection, aff emphasis here on love and affection, okay? And you are deserving. So I hope that you are working through any trauma you may have when it comes to being on the receiving end of love 
care, affection, and then also, you know, uh, acts of services, gifts, things of the sort. A lot of you could be also aligning yourself slash attracting or dealing with um, an earth sign lover. Okay, specifically Virgo is what's coming out. Um, but could also be Taurus and Capricorn. We do have the two of pentacles. I want to know more about that. What are we deciding on, debating on? Some of you are debating whether or not you should give someone a second chance okay someone that you have a history with someone that you have un it feels like you have unfinished business with okay this person could have fixed sign energy so scorpio taurus leo or aquarius like you but i'm also seeing some of you are debating whether or not you want an online romance or debating whether or not you want to start an online uh like dating app like if you want to join one or some of you have choices between two different people um, it feels as though you're just kind of like deciding, <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's like you're deciding like where you want to be abundant when it comes to love. Because I feel as though you have a lot of choices coming in soon. You have a lot of clarity, prosperity, and good fortune surrounding you in love, whether you are in a relationship right now or not. But you're just deciding where you want your mind to be at, where you, there's just a decision to be made. Um, I'm also seeing for some, it's not a coincidence because Mercury retrograde, and especially if you're dealing with a Virgo, there could be tension, there could be an argument that arises, okay? Words can be exchanged, someone can end up being blocked or muted, you know, you might take some a break from from like thinking about someone, a break from talking to them, um, or some of you are just overwhelmed in general when it comes to love, regardless of what's going on. Okay, so you just need a little moment to yourself is what I'm getting, Aquarius. Let me see more. We have the death card. I'm, oh my God. And then we have the two of cups. Okay, so I'm getting different storylines, Aquarius. Again, emphasis here on Scorpio energy. Someone could also have Mercury in Scorpio with the five of swords and the death card. Okay, so I'm getting two different things, two different stories. So where Wherever it fits some of you you are ending something and it's going to help you attract a more meaningful connection with a new person okay so there's a new person coming through here there is going to be mutual love for one another there could likely be some kind of love offer this person is likely in tune with their feelings their emotions they could be spiritual they could have water placements okay Aquarius but this person will love you for you and they will cherish you and that will be reflected through their actions okay now i'm also getting some of you you are going to be um some of you it's someone from the past okay so like i said it's either someone that you have unfinished business with that is going to come back and you know show that they care for you especially if the two of you have had a rough patch and there has been you know confusion and conflict okay or for others you are leaving this person behind you're leaving the past behind and it's an entirely new person coming through and they are going to show love and care but it feels as though you may be feeling or cross watch or watching someone feels as though they were taking for granted and i feel as though someone is going to come and rectify that okay because i do this this is my card for reconciliation this is my card for balance this is my card for being friends again being amicable again okay so there's something here about even if you're not getting back together with someone necessarily um though you could be aquarius i do feel so you're going to decide to forgive someone or you're going to just get on a better path when it comes to this specific individual okay someone was giving you the runaround like for some this person wasn't able to commit they were always juggling um like other people or they were juggling maybe some of you were attracting someone that was very uh work focused okay and they just were kind of putting your you know your needs on the back burner whatever anyways you guys this reading is getting long we're gonna look more into what is happening in your love life this august over on patreon and i'm going to film that reading today so like i said the link is gonna be in the description box below i'm just going to end this reading with a prayer and affirmation for you guys you got the eternity card deeper union with you oh my god this is so aquarius it says change me divine beloved into one who understands the true meaning of death <gasps> remove my fear of dying wait we have the death card here Okay, so I just want to say a little parenthesis, Aquarius. Death does not have to mean actual physical death, but it does It does speak about transitions and transformations. Remember this whole new cycle begins, okay? So for some, you're starting this new cycle with a current person, but the foundations in which the two of you have been like, 
dealing with or whatever that this the the foundations need to be dismantled aquarius in order for things to actually make sense and progress and be fruitful the universe is redirecting things especially when it comes to your love life so this death card or this death energy here does not have to be a physical death okay so uh remove my fear of dying open my vision to the eternal may all transitions lead me into ever deepening union with you what i'm also getting aquarius is that some of you are going to there's emphasis here on unconditional love someone that you haven't spoken to in some time or someone that you're going to choose to forgive okay and just let go let go of the harm that you felt from them like there's just something here about forgiveness and like elevating spiritually and on a conscious level does that make sense okay anyways that's all i have for you aquarius 20 minutes long i hope that you enjoyed i do want to see you guys in my um live tomorrow or on saturday whenever you're watching this so make sure you turn on your bell post notifications you don't want to miss a reading and i'll see you later aquarius i really love you and i value you you i value you sorry i can never talk dreamer career retrograde okay bye